Restricted area. Unauthorized personnel in restricted area will be shot at sight without question. You can either fight, sneak, or use holographic shroud to get through the resistance. No, 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 I wasn't fully through yet. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Holy shit. Missed ya. Sorry for no video yesterday, I was just too stomped with work and I got home at 8pm and I uh, basically just uh, fell asleep right away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are okay. Um, today's Saturday, it's early in the morning and I feel really, really good. And um, I'm about to be dashing out a fuck ton of content for you guys. Are you ready for some out of worlds, baby? This weekend I will be recording so many goddamn videos that my nutsack will probably fall off, but that's okay. Because who needs a nutsack anyway, you feel me? Now, let's get this going. Uh, oh yeah, that's so good. Alright, so, <laughs> are you guys excited? Because I certainly am. Uh, what's going to happen now is that we're going to continue with this game. And I hope you guys are ready for some Star Wars, which is coming up in a few days. The hype is real. I'm so excited because I've just been watching spam videos of that game. It's been... Oh, it looks phenomenal, doesn't it? And of course, as one may expect, I will be giving away the game. Hell yeah. So if you haven't known that already, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. What's going on? I hope you guys are alright. For now, we're going to continue with uh, the Outer Worlds. If I can get on this. And, um, yeah. Let's pick lock everything we can pick lock. Simply because we lock picks and pick lock, you feel me? So I got a fuck ton of weapon mods. Um, let's go ahead and implant those today. I'm not 100% sure on uh, what we're going to be implanting it, but... Hello? Oh. Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can I your boots? <laughs> Lie. Snarl like a raptor. I'm just messing with you. Who's in there? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. Hux it is. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then Rathodon, who's a void blast mess. I ran in here and... Um, Wipe any terminals in the building. Little help? Uh, you had locked in? How? Well, I need to get in that room. I need to get in that room, but maybe I'll let you star first. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, I need to get in that room. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. Of course. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. Munch? Don't look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. That is gross. Is that, is that sounding just as soft to you guys as it is to me? It sounds really soft. Alright, uh, seeing as you're trapped, you might as well just answer a few things for me. There must be a way to open it from the inside. Sure. Pete's not answering questions. Uh, who are you? Huxley. I'm an yeah, I knew that part. The iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm, uh, I'm... Hold on real quick, because I can't hear a thing. Let's put it higher. Sorry. Um, tell me about the iconoclast. So you got locked. I'm looking for the bold 52. Any lying around? I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a very familiar situation. My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping on account of Rathodons wanting to munch on my head. But I thought they couldn't catch you because you were so fast. Okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. I... wait, what? Really? Oh, uh, <laughs> neither was I. Who would hide in a trash can? Gross. Right, okay, uh, tell me about the Iconoclasts. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and... Yeah, I met them. Amber Heights. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, right back to the door. <laughs> there must be a way to open it from the inside. Engineering, right, but okay. Let's try the handle, turn it upwards, and... <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. What a moron! Thank you so much. Hi, Hux. I was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Good job. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind give me an escort back home? I'm. Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Uh, you sure about that travel? Normally, when you help people, then you give them something for the trouble. Got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? I'll take it. Surely you have something on you. Uh, put in a good word for me with the iconic class I'm called even. Can do. Awesome. All right. Uh, you sure you're okay to travel? Oh sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy. And hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Yeah, yeah. Just beat it. <laughs> good luck. Thanks a lot, Mister. You're welcome, Hux. I'll see you around, baby girl. Bolt 52 cartridge. All right. All right. Let's get all the fat fucking loots we can get. All right. So have you guys been playing this game yourself? Yet? Especially the winners of the giveaway, of course. Hey, <laughs> you feel me? No, just kidding. But, um... If you haven't played the game yourself, what do you what have you guys been thinking of it so far? Are you guys enjoying it, or are you guys thinking it's the worst game you've probably ever played, or is it um, giving you nostalgia over the games you haven't played yet? For now, I just want to give you guys a quick thanks for all the support we've been getting on the channel so far, and of course, the dream, the YouTube dream, is still on. It's still on, and we're gonna reach it. And we're not gonna reach it just us. We're gonna reach it together. You feel me? It's kind of the same thing. It doesn't matter. Um. Oh, get smacked. Oh, you guys probably won't see that new dagger I got, right? Uh, well, you're not gonna see it now. <laughs> the enemy's already dead. So I've been trying out the dagger a little bit. It's not great. It's not great. It does give away poison damage, but you don't really notice it too much. So, uh, straight up chaos is preferred. Alright, so, um, yeah, basically we've been playing this game non-stop so far, and I've really been having a good time. Um, other games I play currently is League of Legends, I don't know if any of you have been uh, noticing that. But, um, <clears throat> it's gonna be freaking amazing to keep playing uh, a game like that with you guys, if you guys are interested. And if you haven't uh, done any of that stuff yet, like other games, uh, mentioned to me at least, then you can um, always hit me up with a game. Maybe we can play it together. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I oh, a... so sassy. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, given the Bolt 52. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Right. Try to control yourself, sir. Please do. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been told. Ooh, an MSI this. Elite Helmet. How exactly is a data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon. <laughs> Microtransactions work. <laughs> For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Okay. Uh, spare me the details and just tell me what comes next. Let me guess. A paperweight. So do you want... So do... So you do want to go against the board. Don't be ridiculous. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. That works. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea. It's definitely a firm middle finger. Alright, awesome. Uh, promise that me once I help you, MSI will stop broadcasting this. With this final matter, and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. 
All right. Bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. All right. Sanjar, you sly dog. You really think so? Sure. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. All right. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I know how to make people talk. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay. And I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. All right. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. Oh, she's not fun scary like you. Just scary. <laughs> but that's why you'll be equipped to handle her. Right. Uh, so go to Fallbrook and get the location of a legal corporate facility then. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That All right, looks like we're gonna head into another building. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff. Sure, easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. <laughs> I'll leave the execution <laughs> to you. All right, I'll take it. Um, I gotta go. All right, so we just got that MSI Elite helmet. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that one's dope too. Let me see which one's cooler. That one kind of makes me look like someone from Wolfenstein. Oh, that fits so well with the outfit. Look at that shit. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, it, it's, a, it's a combo. It's both Elite Troop. Holy dope. All right, you. Uh, wear that. It's better. And you, Nervati. Oh, that helmet looks so cool on you, though. But too bad, I gotta be wearing that one. Alright, dope. So, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this, then. And go ahead and enter the fortress. Next time we come back to town, we're gonna go ahead and install those weapon mods and maybe see if we can make some good stuff happen. For now, let's travel all the way to Fallbrook Crossroads. So guys, have you guys seen BlizzCon? Diablo 4 coming out, it, uh, World of Work of Shadowlands fucking looks awesome as well. I don't know if any of you have ever played World of Warcraft, but uh, Shadowlands does look pretty fucking awesome. I'm really excited about Diablo 4, I'll, spe I'll especially be playing that game on the channel and be giving away two copies of that as well. Cause simply I'm just a big Blizzard fan, always have been, cause I played World of Warcraft for about... Eight years, I think? Yeah, played for a really long time. Consecutive as well, simply because I just freaking love that game. Did have a few small breaks from time to time, but beside that, it was a great recommendation. Oh, a little lag there. What'd she say? Closer to me. Fuck you gonna do, huh, bitch? What you gonna do? You will do fucking nothing. That's what you'll do. You do nothing. All right, sorry. Aggressive huh? tendencies. You blind fella, or can you not see I'm busy? I can Why see. Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fall. Man, I'm not. I just need to get info. Paradise in this entire law-forsaken land, like a void damn advert. Right. Oh, she just uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Yes, yeah, she does. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. <laughs> I'll take it, charm. If by nugget of paradise you mean piece of manty dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. I suppose you do. First, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well. Well, I'm half listening. Right, that's what I always do too. I'd like a room. Uh, need a hand for hire? Sanjar said you know something about a corporation secret in Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as ship weren't pirates. All right. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Let me guess. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. 
Well, I'd love to be paid handsomely. You really can't tell me anything else. If I could, I would have. It's my crew whose lives are on the line. Them I suppose they are. Bad business. That's true. All right, uh, need a hand for hire? If it's one that don't mind getting dirty... My hands have never been washed, baby. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? Ah, man. Good shit. You don't. I do admire blunt honesty, so I'm willing to give a business arrangement between us a try. Let's make it happen, Catherine There's Mallon. The factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the king. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. <laughs> Is that also his title? I want it. Clear as that. Dude, let's fucking do this. I'm ready. I get the feeling this is gonna involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. <laughs> Clive right. Lumber, the self-proclaimed forced king of monarch, is swimming in profit. And drowning in that his sounds evil. like a lot of bets for me. He's I'll making take it. the only meal to be had this side of monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forced factory. Owner dead or alive. I'm gonna uh, get him dead. Soon to be handsomely paid, son of a bitch. Who's gonna get it for me? What specially do you want me to do? Easy as needing a Christy pick pie. Any tips on how I'm gonna get in? Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. I have. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. <laughs> Say I just killed Clive. Say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Any tips on how to get, I might get if in? You got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. No, I'm gonna go ahead and go in guns blazing. Simply because that is the fun way to do things. Say I just killed Clive. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. All right. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Let's make it happen, baby. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. All right, sweet. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Aw, oh, man. All right, Catherine, baby. Let's make it happen. Let's go ahead and get her a little bit of disguise going. She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. You know how there's smoke crawls? What do you guys think? Side mission? Uh, Slaughterhouse Clive. Uh, for Catherine Clive Lumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but warm and squishy inside. I'm pretty sure she's well, <laughs> she might be. I don't know. So, have any of you guys ever played any of the Blizzard games? If you have, which one and why the hell have you played it? And, um, yeah. I mean, if you've played World of Warcraft, you can give me a little bit of extra info simply because I'm very interested. What job the board assigned Can't travel when flying, just like Skyrim. All right. So, um, yeah. If you have, uh, if you're curious about what I played, I played um, mostly a Night Elf Druid. In the main time, I played a uh, Orc Warrior as well. It's been uh, it's been good stuff. So here we go. Here's the blade, guys. That's how we do, baby. That's how we do. So as you guys might have seen, that thing was not... Wait, I'm in the water. Why am I still burning? Doesn't work like that, huh? It would have been a cool effect if they put that in the game. Restricted area. Unauthorized personnel in restricted area will be shot at sight without question. You can either fight, sneak, or use holographic shroud to get through the resistance. No, 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 no! I wasn't fully through yet! I'll see what we can make happen. Let's get in, team. Oh, that's my mechanical guardian. Oh, one down. 
Take some cover. Oh, but you weren't expecting any of that. Oh, get the fuck out. What do you mean? Fuck you too. Ain't nobody telling me how to live my life. You got that? You got that? Alright, so what are you wearing? 22 currently. Almost 24, so you might want to try that one on. Um, yeah, you could maybe wear a combination, I guess. I'm not even 100% sure what you were supposed to do. We did just get a card. Um, some, some of this one. CMP Borst Factory. Alright, so we just made a fuck ton of enemies. Restricted area. So I'm curious if you guys are ready. Oh man, I'm not ready. Wait, Parvati leveled up. Hold on. Parvati? That's good, baby. Wait, she didn't level up. Medium? Close distance? Weapons mixed, mode aggressive. You can change all that? I didn't even know that. All right, guys. So when we're going to enter the forest, the fortress, that's going to be the next one for the episode. I hope you guys are ready. Thank you so much for the support we've been getting. And, um, well, that you guys are just awesome, sure huh? Seems well, huh? What, what am I supposed to do with her, then? Huh, I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or anything down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!